Will Chamberlain is back to dominate the NBA, but there's one problem. His shooting. So I'm giving him Steph Curry shooting, but he's gonna have to work for it. Will would be drafted fourth overall to the Philadelphia 76ers. That means he's joining Moses and Dr. J. But also means Wilt is riding the bench behind Moses despite being an 85 overall. But still, Wilt's the MVP, but let's be honest, who else was going to be it? But those might be the worst shooting splits I've ever seen. And that bad shooting would be hurting the team, as despite finishing 58 and 24, Bird and McHale are eliminating Philly, and it's because Wilt shot 8 of 23 in the elimination game. I mean, buddy, you got to do better. But lucky for Wilt, he gets a boost, well, I'll do two from this board, which first is going to be better interior defense and a very quick jumper already. That could be really good or not matter at all. Wilt's now 33, it moves him to the starting lineup, which is good for one thing. Will is winning an MVP in his second season. And the 76ers are still seeing some playoff success as they come back on the Cavs. But it's not thanks to Will. 4 in 15 from the field for the game. But their success in the playoffs wouldn't last long as after beating Detroit to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, Wilt would shoot 7 of 43 from the free throw line in a 4-2 series loss to the Celtics. I'm not surprised, but it's disappointing. But maybe the board can help him. Wilt's gonna be bringing himself a 99 block, which he honestly already almost have. And okay, I bet that's gonna help him a lot. Wilt would snag his second MVP in three seasons, but his efficiency is still terrible. And the 76ers fall to 49 wins. Again, facing the Celtics in the playoffs. And again, Parrish and McHale would shut down the center duo. And Wilt actually shot halfway decent, but he was four of 20 from the free throw line. But there is hope for Wilt now. Well, you're coming home with a plus 30 to free throw. Oh my God, is that massive? And a plus 10 to his three. With now a 43 and a 55 free throw, Will still sucks, but still. It's a 3P and the efficiency is finally getting good. But it would be another postseason flop. Boys, you're already down 3-0 and then you get embarrassed. Can't make it to the finals. Wilt makes more improvements, boosting his athleticism and finishing around the rim, but he still struggles outside five feet. But Philly had to make a tough choice in the offseason, letting Moses Malone leave in free agency. But not much would change for Philly, beating the Bullets in round one, and then the 67-win Pacers, led by Clyde, would easily take them out in a sweep. And there they go again after Wilt missed 11 shots. This is just getting embarrassing. Will now has every gold shooting badge, but it doesn't really matter when he still only has a 65-3, but at least his percentages do shoot up to 43%. And with the addition of Terry Cummings and Larry Nance, the 76ers again look great to start the playoffs. All right, we're moving on to the second round, but this is where we usually lose. And what happened again as Ewing and the Bucks and knock out Will again, but another young star is taking over the league. Oh my God, LeBron! And he would go on to win it all, but there is some good news for Will. Well, we need some big time help, and a plus 10 to 3 is a good way to start it, and a plus 15 3 is a great way to continue it. His 3 is now a 90, but his free throw is still a 55, and his mid range is still absolutely terrible, and his reign as king of the NBA is coming to an end. Finally, Will has been dethroned by LeBron. But in the playoffs, Philly would finally get revenge on Bird and the Celtics in a sweep. And despite signing Isaiah Thomas, Cleveland falls in six. But the Eastern Conference Finals again would be too much for Will as Wade averaged 40 and 12 in the sweep. Well, buddy, you need to do better, man. That's just, this is just unacceptable. Sick of losing, Will maxes his three to 99 and works on a brand new jump shot form. But don't worry, the granny freak though is still here to stay. But this is Will's last season on his contract, so without some success, he could leave Philly. Will and Terry work together to top the NBA and have their first ever 60-win season as a team, as third-year Chris Murray is becoming a solid six-man. But they aren't the only 60-win team. LeBron and the Sonics are still tearing through the NBA, and the Twin Towers in Golden State, Victor Webb and Yama, and Ralph Sampson have the NBA's best record. But Indiana is eyeing down Philly in the first round. Clyde is no longer on the team, meaning trading the first four games. But Chris Mullen would go insane, 435. And because of that, you had your best season yet and get eliminated in the first round. 
What are you doing? Victor and Golden State raise the trophy, but because Philly just can't win, Wilt takes his talents to South Beach and joins the Heat, who just drafted Sarif Abdul-Rahim with the sixth pick. But leading a young team would be too much for Wilt, missing the playoffs entirely. But Wilt is only 27, and the fan base is still excited. Miami is getting the third pick in the NBA draft, which they would use to select RJ Barrett, who doesn't have the best rookie season at all, but it wouldn't even matter as Miami signs Clyde Drexler, who just won a championship with the Lakers, and gives Will some much needed help, boosting the Heat to just under 60 wins. But there were two other championship favorites, Orlando with Cameron Whitmore and James Worthy, and obviously Ralph Sampson and Victor and Golden State. But they have other focuses. Cleveland is up first, but like every other time Will has gone against them, it's an easy win. But there you go, Will. You're finally into the second round, but you haven't had a good history there either. And that second round matchup is none other than MJ and the Hornets. Clyde would carry the Heat to three straight wins, but MJ would, would bounce back with back-to-back -back triple doubles to make it a 3-2 series. But with a wilt near 30-point triple double, he would finish the series in six games. But as we know, it doesn't get easier for Wilt. Up next is the Orlando Magic, and Wilt doesn't have a great history in the conference finals, losing all three times he has made it there, and Whitmore would drop 37 in Game 1 to take Game 1 for the Magic. The two would then split the next three games to tie it to a piece. Game 5 would be a team effort by the Heat to take a 3-2 lead, and Wilt would dominate in Game 6 to secure his final spot, and Wilt is about to go to his first ever NBA Finals, finally! But in his way is Victor Webinyama and Ralph Sampson. Will would dominate every part of Game 1 to start the series, then a Clyde near triple-double would lead the Heat to a win in Game 2, and carrying his momentum, 30 from Clyde would lead the Heat up 3-0, and Wilt is now only one win away from redeeming every single one of his earlier failures in the postseason, but the series wouldn't be over yet. Victor would lead the way to steal a game from the Heat in Game 4, then drop 27-16 and 16 in Game 5, and after 34-12 and 12 from Victor in Game 6, the series would be tied 3-3. No team has ever lost a 3-0 lead in the finals, but Wilt and the Heat are on the brink of being the first. Victor would start Game 7 off early with 33 points, and with only a minute and a half left, Miami would be down 11. Well, against Ralph in the post, Ralph's bodying him up, and oh, Wilt still gets it, okay. And Wemby seals the game right there with delay. Wilt is going down as one of the greatest playoff chokers in NBA history, but he couldn't handle it anymore, perfecting every single part of his game. The playoffs would again start against Cleveland, but Wilt would win the series in a close five games. But in the second round against Orlando, Whitmore would drop 44 to win game one, 37 to win game two, 35 to win game three, and 37 in game four to finish the sweep of Miami. Wilt would leave Miami for Charlotte, who no longer has MJ because he's now in the Grizzlies. They don't know about signing with the Hornets. I don't know about it, Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about signing with the Hornets, Well, But they would actually be better than anybody expected, thanks to Amari Bailey coming out as a young bucket getter. I was wrong, Will is back to being the MVP. But in the playoffs, I would be right again, as after beating Cleveland, Will and the Hornets would lose to Chicago in the second round. Camby and Will were a terrible duo, so they swap him out for one of Will's biggest enemies. Victor Webb and Yama, but Kobe White leaves in free agency, and they swap him for Tyler Hero. And even without a PG, Will is again the MVP. He's three beating, but he just can't win. But even with seven MVP trophies, Will doesn't have the one thing he wants, a ring. Thanks to Wemby being absolutely insane and Tyler Hero being a great addition, the Hornets finish 72-10. and And for once, they're not playing Cleveland in round one. And because of that, the Bucks easily fall in three, but unfortunately... Three things are inevitable in life. Death, taxes, and Will playing Cleveland. But this time, at least it's the second round. As always, it would be a close series going to a Game 7. But in that Game 7, Will would be one assist off of a triple-double for the win. John Morant and Ray Allen would be up next in the Conference Finals. But for once, Will won it choked there, winning in six, meaning... Wilt is back in the Finals. Please, Wilt. We need something. But their matchup in the finals is another super team. The 65-17 and 17 Sacramento Kings led by Darius Garland, Steve Nash, and Keontae George. Four wins is all that stands between Wilt and his first ever championship. Game 1, Wemby would look like the best player on the planet, dropping 53 on the Kings, who severely lack a solid center. Then in Game 2, Wilt would go insane for 60 of his own and a 2-0 series lead in the finals. Then in Game 3, the two would combine for 73 points, and now, finally, a 3-0 lead. But last time Wilt was here, he choked the next four and lost everything to Wemby. 
but now with his help, the Hornets would go up massive in game four. Will gives it down to Bailey, who hits a tough layup to go up 125 and 84. Will's finally done it, meaning Will has finally done it in year 14 after years of heartbreak, and it couldn't mean more to him. Finally, having a finals ring. So, Will with Steph shooting may not be as good as it sounds, as Will was insanely dominant even without it, unlike Ben Simmons, who has only taken a total of 36 threes in his career. But what if Ben hit the gym and finally improved his shooting, taking inspiration from the greatest shooter of all time? Would he hit more threes than his original five for his career? Check that out here in I Gave Ben Simmons Steph Shooting.